Just about eight meters separating uh, HTV from the International Space Station. The final capture sequence uh, will involve uh, the inhibiting of uh, the thrusters on the International Space Station. Uh, the space station's robotic arm under the control of Karen Nyberg uh, will move in from its current high hover position. The HTV uh, itself will be commanded to what is called free drift. All of its thrusters will be disabled to avoid any inadvertent thruster firings during the time of grapple itself. And then at that point, it's uh, simply a, a process of Nyberg moving in with the arm for uh, latching on and uh, a final capture of the spacecraft. Uh, capture point hold confirmation. Copy, uh, Houston, step 10. The VV mode, sub mode uh, are as per the Q card. The range, nav range is 9.2 and the range rate is zero. The grapple fixture is stable and was in within the capture volume on uh, mo both monitors. So with that, uh, we show the capture point hold is confirmed. We copy and we see the same thing here, and uh, it, show, it looks like uh, you guys uh, agree that the cap, the grapple fixture is within the capture volume on both uh, camera views. Uh, that's affirmative. Uh, in both camera views, the grapple fixture is stable and within the grapple volume. Fantastic. Uh, block 10 is complete. So at this point, uh, HTV-4 has reached its capture point uh, just 30 feet away from the International Space Station. A final uh, series of systems checks to be performed. You heard Chris Cassidy uh, indicate uh, from the cupola that everything looks great uh, for the crew on board. The final uh, go-no-go no go for capture uh, to be provided in one last poll by Flight Director Ed Van Sice here in Mission Control before Karen Nyberg begins to move uh, the remote manipulator system in for the capture of the cargo ship. That the uh, FRGF SEP lights are lit. The hold lights are not lit. So the HCP LED status matches uh, as expected in block 11, and we're happy with the lighting conditions. As far as we're uh, concerned on board, the capture prep is confirmed, and we are ready for HTV capture. And Chris, we weren't uh, quite ready for uh, block 11 yet, um, so uh, we'll stand by and we might have to ask you to do that again. Sorry. Okay, uh, Expedition 36 crew, uh, we copy, uh, it looks like uh, we got what we needed uh, from your early block 11. Uh, so uh, uh, please stand by for a go to perform capture. Please stand by. Absolutely, we're standing by. Flight Director Ed Van Sice now pull, pull, uh, polling his team of flight controllers to get a final go, no go for capture. Everything looking great on board the International Space Station and on the HTV itself.
and HTV uh, flight controllers and scuba are also go for capture. Station Houston, uh, the moment we've been waiting for. Uh, you are go for the HTV capture sequence, which is step four in the robotics procedure 1.110, and begin monitoring the back away cue card. And since we're a few minutes early, uh, please uh, make sure uh, and observe the no exercise constraint. Okay, that's great news. And uh, uh, we understand that we are go for capture. We're transitioning to step four of the robotic procedure 1.110 and uh, the back away cue cards in hand and understand that it's in effect from now until uh, uh, we transition over the pin. That is correct and confirmed. Definitely you have a go for capture sequence. Good luck. Thanks very much. It's a beautiful sight here. With that, uh, Chris Cassidy monitoring all of the systems and providing uh, the communications uh, with Capcom Mike Fink here in Mission Control. Center stage now goes to Karen Nyberg at the uh, cupola at the robotics workstation as she will now begin to slowly move uh, the Canadarm2 in for a grapple of HTV4 to complete uh, its five and a half journey, five and a half day journey from the launch pad in uh, Tanegashima, Japan. Uh, the journey of HTV-4 beginning with its launch last Saturday afternoon U.S. time in the pre-dawn hours of Sunday at Tanagashima. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, as uh, we enter the final minutes uh, before the grapple of HTV-4, it's worth noting uh, that we are expected to lose our downlink television capability. Uh, Murphy at work here, Murphy's Law in work, uh, will be losing a downlink TV capability from the station uh, just about uh, two and a half minutes from now. So we may not actually see the actual capture, but we certainly will be reporting it as it happens. The uh, HTV-4 has now been placed in free drift on command from Japanese flight controllers and scuba, disabling all of its uh, thrusters and uh, avoiding any inadvertent thruster firings that could disrupt the grapple procedures. Houston 
station, we're starting the approach. Copy. The robotics officer here in Mission Control reports the arm in motion. And having lost our downlink TV capability, uh, we now switch to the graphically uh, portrayed uh, computer-generated image uh, from uh, both the robotics console and the uh, visiting vehicle officer's console. The International Space Station now in free drift. One meter away from capture. Latching end effector over the pin. Capture confirmed at 6.22 a.m. Central Time. Grapple confirmed. The International Space Station and HTV-4 flying 260 miles south of South Africa. Houston Station, capture is complete. Would like to say congratulations to the entire JAXA team and everybody else around the world who has uh, successfully gotten the fourth HTV to the International Space Station.